everyone and please be seated. I'm Stephen Stone, the Chancellor of Trent University and a proud graduate of this great institution. In fact, I was a student here back in the early days, in the mid-1960s, when uh, Trent was founded. Um, Trent had, it, I was in the second year, I think, and Trent had been founded under the guiding principles set by its first president, Tom Simons. Tom's vision was that to challenge the world requires education, but not just any education. Rather, an education which trains us to think in new and innovative ways. And the foundation of that unique education is a multidisciplinary approach to formal classes, combined with a college system of interaction and social learning. This, in very short form, is the secret sauce of Trent University. This is the Trent system. Because the world around us is changing at such a rapidly accelerating pace, the next decades will continue to be tumultuous in one way or another. The world in the coming years is going to become almost unrecognizable. The world is going to need to be saved, and that is where you come in. The ability to respond effectively in the face of these massive changes requires a certain kind of person, a certain kind of graduate. You, a product of the Trent system, someone who thinks and acts in new and innovative ways. Many students will graduate in Canada and elsewhere around the world this year, but you are unique because you have been, are, and will remain forever an integral part of the Trent University community. You are forever imbued with the unique secret powers of the Trent system. You are our new hope. My heartfelt congratulations go out to you today. You have reached an important milestone and your new mission can begin. I now declare convocation open. You may not have noticed what just happened, but I got a riser. <laughs> Made this morning. <laughs> Annie, bonjour, sego, bonjour, and good morning. My name is Kathy Bruce. I'm the Vice President Research and Innovation at Trent University. It's my honor and pleasure to welcome you here today to our first in person convocation ceremony series in two years. <laughs> Yes, this does feel good. I'd like to begin by respectfully acknowledging that we're on the treaty and traditional territory of the Michisaugik Anishinaabeg. We offer our gratitude to the First Peoples for their care for and teachings about our earth, our relations. May we honor these teachings. We have the great privilege of living, learning, and working here on this territory. And even in the rain, it is spectacular. A river runs through our campus and renews our spirits daily. Today I'd like to thank our Indigenous knowledge holders, elders, our procession members, the water bearer and condolence cane carrier, and our many partners for all that they share with us here at Trent University. And today we welcome a few VIPs to our ceremony, Chair of our Board of Governors, Deborah Cooper Berger, President. President Leo Grok. <laughs> Councillor Arnold Taylor from Curve Lake First Nation. I'm also pleased to welcome our new graduates from biology, 
biomedical science, and conservation biology programs. Their parents and families and friends who have come from nearby and far away to be with us here today. If you're watching our live stream from somewhere else within Canada or perhaps somewhere else in the world, I hope this message reaches you, surrounded by your circle of support. And whether you're joining us in person or virtually, you are part of the Trent family. I hope you enjoy Trent's deep sense of community. I also want to preface our proceedings this morning by saying something about the convocation ceremony itself. It is in some ways a very formal ceremony that officially recognizes our graduates and the successful completion of their degrees. At the same time, convocation is intended to be a celebration, a party even, especially this year as we're able to gather together in person. You'll notice the Trent spirit of our Chancellor Stephen Stone, our Vice Chancellor and President Leo Gork, and our Board of Governors Chair in their appropriately green regalia. Uh, and note they carry this spirit right down to their green runners. <laughs> there is no limit to the Trent celebration today. This is a party to celebrate the successes of our students and the journey that has brought you here. If you're a supporter, and perhaps especially if you're a parent, you will want to celebrate the fact that your student is finally graduating. And with that in mind, I want to give you permission to be loud, to cheer, to applaud, to shout. You might even wish to embarrass your graduate as they cross the stage. I'll end my own remarks by addressing our graduates. Today we celebrate your scholarship and commitment to biology, biomedical science, and conservation biology. These are significant and essential fields today and in our immediate future. In the words of David Suzuki, I can't imagine anything more important than air, water, soil, energy, and biodiversity. These are the things that keep us alive. David Suzuki is also quoted as saying, we're over 60% water by weight. We're just a big blob of water with enough organic thickener added so we don't dribble away on the floor. Perhaps not as inspiring? Talk to our biomedical graduates. But more seriously, graduates, you have learned and stretched. You have shaped Trent just as Trent has shaped you. You're now reaching beyond yourself, beyond this place, to make your place. We know that you can make a momentous difference as compassionate and critical thinkers who are challenging, constructing, and creating a vibrant future. And we're grateful for the leadership you will take on. Thank you. It's important to know you're in good company. As an alum, you join the Marks the ranks of a global network of distinguished Trent graduates, award-winning authors, game-changing advocates, corporate leaders, officers of the Order of Canada, Nobel Prize winners, no pressure, um, people who contribute in outstanding ways through their careers and in their communities. Before you head off to your bright future, take some time to savor this moment and to imagine where your life will take you as you define a purpose that is uniquely your own. My warmest congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, Dr. Holgel Hintman, Dean of Science, will now present the candidates for all degrees. A few stage directions for our graduates. As Dean Hintman reads your name, you'll cross the stage to be congratulated by the Chancellor and the President, and then you'll be welcomed into the Trent Alumni family by Stephen Brown, President of the Trent University Alumni Association, before returning to your seat. You may wish to shake hands, or you may wish to make a small bow. The choice is yours. The Chancellor has been known to throw a few dance moves in. Watch for those. Dean Hintelman.
Mr. Chancellor, I'm pleased to present for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in the Honors Program the candidate whose name will be read, whom the Senate has duly declared worthy of the honor, that they may receive the degree at your hands. Emma Jacobs. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the degree Bachelor of Arts in the Honors Program. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I'm pleased to present for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the Honors Program the candidates whose names will be read, whom the Senate has duly declared worthy of the honor, that they may receive the degree at your hands. Hanan Abdul Salam. <laughs> Kylie Abra. <laughs> Sabrina Adam. Ula Batumisin Adebayo Adiripikwe. James Adalopoulos. Aaron Amaev. Natasha Antonov. Jade Arsenal Lewis. Brenna Ashbury. Caitlin Baker. Kira Bertram. Jada Bertram. Paige Blake. Jessica Bolton. Clarissa Haley Bourne. Connor Braid. Erica Brown. <laughs> Terry Lynn Burke. <laughs> Sarah Burrett. Chantal Bino. <laughs> Tarit Sharanek. <laughs> Kayla Chartrand. Sebastian Christmas. Victoria Clark.
Rianne Crowther. Kayla Darling. Kyle Da Silva. Shyla Davenport. Courtney Davidson. Jessica Days. Sky Raphael Dizon de Guzman. Rachel De Rosier. Emma Dixon. Dana Driscoll. Nate Nile Dubile. Susan Duffy. Ashley Emery. Shayla J.C. Fisher. Mark Felice. Zachary Fisher. Kieran Freetag. Chelsea Garrett. Adiam Mesfin. Jordan Gilder. Cassidy Gossick. Eve Grant Hook. Carlotta Grass. Emerald Grobe. Jessica Hancock. Violet Hipkin. (laughs) 
Ethan Holder. Jace Holder. Walker Hunter. <laughs> Laura Innes. Alex Jalcevac. <laughs> Nachiket Zambike. <laughs> Chelsea Jinger. Shriya Janalagada. <laughs> Taylor Lex. Kevin Lee. <laughs> Michaela Livingston. <laughs> McKenna Lowry. Ailee Mayer. <laughs> Caitlin Marchand. <laughs> Jordan Matthews. Kalia Samantha McDonald. <laughs> Michaela McMurray. <laughs> Myra Mianathan. Michael Maloney. <laughs> Jordan Malto. <laughs> Joshua Murukesi. Zual Nasseri. <laughs> Matthew Nixon. <laughs> T 
Taylor Norquay. Einstein and Quanta. Chelsea Obeng Isumeng. Sarah O'Connell. Yeah. Katie O'Day. Pal Patel. Amy Patterson. Mariah Pikoski. Amanda Peters. Madison Phillips. <laughs> Hannah Piccolo. <laughs> Emily Pilcher. Petra Platt Decoder. <laughs> Cassandra Rideout. Cassidy Russell. Kelsey Russell. Jessica Scott. Zachary Shepardanus. <laughs> Michaela Shaughnessy. <laughs> Alexandra Stetler. Abigail Struick. <laughs> Rashmi Takur. McKenna T. Bear.
Marcin Katch. Jared Traverton. Emma Tui. Mida Batz. Sydney Vanton. Atalia Boisin. Bonnie Lee Istoon Wallace. Yeah. Zakina Zaidi. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree Bachelor of Science in the Honors Program. Mr. Chancellor, I'm pleased to present for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the general program the candidates whose names will be read, whom the Senate has duly declared worthy of the honor that they may receive the degree at your hands. Jaina Arnold. Jordan Dertinger. Alexandra Gallant. Ruthwick Goda. Emma Loranger. <laughs> Lene Lyles. <laughs> Mackenzie Maximovich. Chanel Nguyen Dong. <laughs> Heidi Graham. <laughs> Zuber Penanguala. Jesse Pilon. <laughs> K. 
Caitlin Pollard. Rhythm Singler. Nicholas Seguin. Lexi Richardson. Ivy Stewart. Jocelyn Van Allen. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree Bachelor of Science in the general program. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I ask you to confer degrees in absentia on candidates whose names are before you and who are unable to be with us today. Mr. Chancellor, Dr. Robin Quantic will now introduce the honor song. Before all words can be spoken, we bring greetings to all of creation. We give thanks for the rising of the sun and the light and the warmth that it brings. We give thanks for another day of life. We give thanks to those who care for us in these challenging times. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, honored guests, graduates, in the custom of the first peoples of this land, we offer the sound of the drum to honor our mother, the earth. We send our profound and deepest thanks to all creation. We greet the world with humility and embrace the richness, diversity, and wonder that is life. In Anishinaabe teachings, the sound of the drum represents the original sound of creation. This sound reverberates still throughout the universe and infuses our being with life. We sound the drum to connect us with creation, to honor and celebrate life, and to remember to live with humility and kindness amongst all other living things. We offer these words of praise for those who are graduating this day. We offer these words of thanksgiving to those who have made these accomplishments possible. We offer these words of respect and honor to those who strive to bring dignity to our lives. We offer these words to remind us of the seven grandfather, grandmother teachings to live with humility, bravery, honest, honesty, wisdom, truth, respect, and love. We honor this song to restore our good minds. We offer this song to accompany all of you on your travels. May you travel well, and may your lives be filled with grace and dignity. May you work always for peace in our lives. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, honored guests, graduates, I have the privilege and pleasure of presenting Unity and the Honor Song. Please stand if you are able.
Wedge to Unity. Please be seated. Miigwech, Unity. Thank you for your song, and that sends our graduates off in a good way. As we near the conclusion of the ceremony, let me again, on behalf of Trent University, thank you for being here, and congratulations to all our new alumni. They're a smart looking crowd. Uh, following the ceremony, feel free to take photos with your graduate on this beautiful campus, although perhaps today in the student center with a backdrop so that you're out of the rain. Uh, we will end by singing O Canada, and then I ask you to remain standing if you're able until the procession has left the stage. And Mr. Tam Chancellor, I call upon you to dismiss convocation. Thank you, Madam Vice President. This has been a, a wonderful day. Um, before we close formally, I echo the words you spoke earlier, that this is both a formal and an informal occasion, and it's a time of celebration. And um, as our parting words to the graduates, I would like to ask everyone on the stage to stand up and join with me in a traditional greeting to the graduates. Hum, happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Happy trails to you till we meet again. Oh! Convocation is now dismissed.